morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and we give thanks to the Lord for this special uh, day that we celebrate uh, this Holy Eucharist. We thank God for all the blessings that we receive as we continue in our journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us all acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatest in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done, in what I've failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most great Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us offer this Mass for the souls of Romanita de Mesa, Jose B. Garcia, J. Tristan Hernandez, Rosita, Navarra family, all souls in purgatory, and for the intentions of Justin Sites. Lectura del primer libro de los reyes. Por aquel tiempo, el profeta Elías, del pueblo de Tisbe, en Galat, le dijo al rey Ahab, Juro por Dios, el Señor de Israel, a quien yo sirvo, que en estos años no habrá rocío ni lluvia si yo no lo mando. Luego el Señor le dijo a Elías, Vete de aquí, dirígete hacia el oriente y escóndete en el torrente de Kerit, que queda al este del Jordán. Bebe del torrente y yo les encargaré a los cuervos que te lleven de comer. Elías hizo lo que le mandó el Señor y se fue a vivir en el, torre, a, a vivir en el torrente de Kerit que queda al este del Jordán. Los cuervos le llevaban pan y carne por la mañana y por la tarde, y bebía del torrente. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos. Our 
at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord when jesus saw the crowds he went up the mountain and after he had sat down his disciples came to him and began to teach them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Beatitudes comprise the core of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. You know, it is like a new version of the Old Testament commandments, reduced in number and formulated positively. So we have the teachings of Jesus on the Beatitudes. So if you see that Beatitudes is like Beatitudes, the Jesus of Matthew is like the new Moses, the new Moses who ascends the mountain to give the law of God of all. And just as Moses traveled the mountain of God and received, accept the Ten Commandments, so to Jesus climbs the mountain and outlines the meaning of happiness and how to attain it. And these are the attitudes of the heart that every disciple of Jesus is called to practice. 
It is just, just like, like only given and that's it. But need to reflect and practice on it. And what are these? As we heard in today's gospel, the attitudes of gentleness, peacefulness, meekness, simplicity, mercy, justice, purity, and honesty are, are all are outlined here. And these are the values that all of us Christians should seek to live out in our relationship with others. And you know that these Beatitudes make also a good example of conscience for us as we seek to live the life of Jesus. If one aspires to live under this rule, they can be confident that they will have a place with Jesus in his kingdom. And God's kingdom is revealed to those with pure heart. To seek it, man must stay focused and use his gifts. And we know that during that uh, Pentecost, and we receive that gifts of the Holy Spirit, one of the gifts that we receive is the wisdom. This is the highest of which is wisdom. Wisdom to choose the right path. And of course, he will be pleased if many are brought along. Man could give his share in fulfilling his works, such as like encouraging and acknowledging good works, enlightening those who are lost, defending the weak and forgiving, and welcoming back sincere and repentant sinners. So our Lord's teachings on blessedness or these beatitudes makes us realize, however, that a life of blessedness and holiness is a call for all, not only to the disciples of Jesus, not only to the few chosen ones, but for all of us. In fact, the Apostle Paul used to call all members of his communities as saints with the small s, the small letter s. Jesus addresses words, not a few <clears throat> chosen disciples, not even to the twelve whom he had singled out, but to the crowd. The virtues for in spirit means unattached to anything in this world and dependence in God alone. The pure of heart, it means like single-hearted, pure, pure of heart, single-hearted, without that uh, duplicity. Meek means humble and gentle in ways. Righteousness means being just, merciful, like the charitable acts. A steadfastness and forgiveness amidst persecution are not limited and exclusive for only a few. All persons of goodwill can desire them and could practice them. And every day, let us make it a point to invoke the Spirit of Jesus to aid us in developing the virtues that Jesus preached in the face of our own realities. The Beatitudes describe the persons who are truly poor in the eyes of Jesus. And to be honest, we have to admit that it is not easy for us to see that the people named here are the truly happy persons. Only faith enables us to do that. But it is this way. The Beatitudes are a self-portrait of Jesus. That Jesus is the one who is poor in spirit, who mourns, who is meek, who hungers and tears for righteousness. He is the merciful one, the one who is clean of heart, the peacemaker, the one persecuted for righteousness' sake. So my dear brothers and sisters, to be blessed means to be there for others. On one hand, and to experience the nearness of others. On the other hand, Ultimately, in our near nearness to each other, we experience the nearness of God, who is Emmanuel. You know, when somebody tells you, God bless you, we always hear it, God bless you. So the blessing is not something you will receive in the future, but rather it is already there 
you are staring right at it. The fact that somebody cares about you, that somebody is near you, is a blessing that no exam, no job, or money could ever match. So the little, the little presences that we are blessed with now are a foreshadowing of the big presence, the blessing of all blessings that awaits us all. So my dear brothers and sisters, we ask, is Jesus truly happy? Indeed he is. He is the blessed one who comes in the name of the Lord. As we say in the Mass, if Jesus is the blessed one, the happy ones are all who are like him and are also blessed. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, but the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all souls in the church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, us without end, we acclaim. Fountable holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the devil so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and given thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mister of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have built us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Marincada, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Romanitad de Mesa, Jose B. Garcia, J.C. Kristen Hernandez, Navarra family, all the souls in purgatory. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit be called as eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy. But only say the word that my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are the against the wickedness of the devil. We God give you we humbly pray, and to tell the truth of the heavenly host, with the power of God, trust into our Satan, and all the evil spirits, who call out the world, seek the children of the souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. 
Immaculate Heart of Mary, Saint Joseph, Saint Bernard, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day to all of you. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs. And the pure in heart shall see.